بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Welcome back as we focus on the 13th of our lessons and it is for the root letters Noon, Za, Lam and what we would refer to in the, in the past tense verb of Nazala Ibn Faris rahmatullahi alayhi says they are kalimatun sahihatun tadullu ala hubuti shay'in wa wuqu'uhu. So Ibn Fada says that what these three letters really are referring to is something that it descends. And descending means that something comes from a higher uh, altitude or higher uh, um, height to a lower level, from a higher level to a lower level. But he then also says wa wuqu'uhu and it happening, it occurring. So, um, I don't know if in that sense it's meaning that it's not just the descent, but that the actual descent is something that is actualized, that it happens. And he gives some examples. He says, نزل المطر من السماء نزولا That the rain descended from the sky. And نزولا is to, you know, مصدر توكيدي, what we have here in that sense, where it's, it's affirming that the rain descended. And he then says, التنزيل ترتيب شيء ووضعه منزله التنزيل, and this is one of the words that Allah Rabbu Alameen uses as an adjective to describe the Qur'an. Tanzil, he says that it is the ordering of something and then placing it in its proper place. So, it, in this case, revelation that the sense from Allah Rabbu Alameen to his messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam arranging it accordingly so that everything is as it's supposed to be. Well, in Corpus Qur'an, we're told that these three root letters occur 293 times. And the overwhelming majority is for Anzala, which is eight, 183 times, and 62 times for Nazala. Now, both of these two forms um, have the same meaning, except that there's some slight variation. We're told that anzala, uh, this is a transit, transient verb, so it's not that it itself is coming down, it's being set down, but all at once. So anzala, anzala, that it's coming all at once, descending at once. Nazala, that it is being set down, again, not coming down of its own volition, of its own will, of its own power, being set down, and it is being set down in pieces or in bits, not all at once. So looking at that, we see that subhanAllah, the overwhelming majority is uh, for that which is being set down all at once or uh, bit by bit or in pieces and sections. And then we look at the eighth, the eighth uh, note or the eighth uh, bullet and we are told that 15 times it occurs in the form of tanzil, tanzil, wherein Allah Azza wa refers to the Qur'an as that which has been set down and it has come down in bits or in sections or in parts and it is then arranged accordingly into the greater, um, the greater uh, corpus of whatever it is that's being discussed and in this case we're talking about the Qur'an so whatever it is of verses or even of chapters that as Allah Ta'ala sends them down that they are then being properly placed exactly where Allah Ta'ala wants them until the culmination of the complete Qur'an as we have it today would take place. So with that, Alhamdulillah, we realize that we are now at 8,304 words throughout the Qur'an that we're able to recognize that they have uh, what they mean. And in this case, Nazala is talking about coming from a higher level to a lower level. So regardless of what form you see, when you see Nazala in there, to realize that it's dealing with the descending or something being descended or something being composed of different things that descended in Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Muhammad.